I have an insane amount of blackberries, like an insane amount. And one recipe for, for this blackberry jam, I'm gonna try a new recipe, and one recipe calls for only four cups of berries. I have a freezer, I'm not even joking, a freezer full of little Ziploc bags of berries. So, if this is one, I found a recipe that allows me to double, triple, quadruple, whatever, and it does not break down. I'm actually using Diane Devereaux, she's the canning diva, the beginner's guide to canning. Inside this recipe is a, inside this book is a recipe called low sugar berry jam. She doesn't use pectin. She uses clear gel. What is clear gel you might add? Oh, let me tell you. Let me just stop and say for anybody that is complaining, it's not tested by the USDA. You don't have to worry about it. She sends her stuff off and has it professionally tested on her own. So clear gel is like a cornstarch consistency, but it does not break down in high heat. So you literally can can it and it will still maintain its gelled consistency. It's just like, it is just like cornstarch. Looks like it and everything. But this is what we're going to do. You can get the recipe by looking at the, by doing canning diva jam clear gel. Let me know how to spell clear gel. There you go. And it will give you the recipe. And I'm just going to show you because I just got off the f off off of Facebook and she said that she triples it. And I'm like, oh, how many of us have canned for large families and we have to sit in the kitchen all day doing one batch after batch after batch of the same exact jam? Nope. Let's get going. I am tripling mine. So four cups times three is going to be 12 cups. Which means since I am tripling it, I'm going to have to do triple the amount of lemon juice. Just keep pouring, just keep pouring. Why am I so excited about this? Because it means one less thing. I already keep clear gel for my chicken pot pie that she, her, one of her recipes that my husband loves, that's so easy to put on the table. It's just one less thing that I'm gonna have to store. I no longer have to have pectin on my shelf and worry about its expiration date. But the, be the beauty of this whole thing is this is the amount, total amount of sugar. Okay, and here I'm just incorporating one and a half cups of the sugar with the appropriate amount of sure gel. Yeah, until it's all incorporated. And then I'm heating up the berries just slightly because they were really cold. I just took them out of the fridge and they had been in the freezer. And um, I'm heating them up just a little bit before I add this in. You're gonna bring this to a boil. And then the whole world just ch changes for you. Oh, I'm so excited. Once you get that mixture to a boil, you're gonna add your sugar. You're gonna boil it hard for one minute, then you're gonna remove it, you're gonna pack your jars, and then you're going to process them. You need to look up her recipe. It is mind-blowing, and if this works and is an amazing, and I like the consistency of it, it is a total game changer for all of my jams and jellies. Game changer, I'm telling you. Okay, this is amazing. My husband is gonna come up behind and um, this is literally what it's like. Let's show them the consistency. Oh, and it is so beautiful and silky smooth. Like literally silky smooth. You wanna try that? Uh huh. Honest. Damn! Honest, do you like it? Yeah, can I have some more? Ooh, it's got a silky consistency. Mm-hmm. Almost like a pie filling. Mm -hmm. Oh, exactly like a pie filling. <gasps> yep. Now we need to go pick berries because I need to make pie filling. <laughs> mm. Game changer in making jam. Game changer, I'm telling you. I just did three batches in one. A little stressful because it thickens up and it's thickening as you're putting it in here. So you gotta work fast, but woo, it's amazing. I liked it so much, I'm making my next batch. Blackberry vanilla pepper jam. Mm -hmm. Starting it all over, right? <gasps> yeah. It's been like five, six minutes, and the next batch, my last batch, is already in. And um, I figured I would ask my husband to come over and taste the vanilla black pepper blackberry jam. Would you like to taste test this? Yes. Well, then come on over here because we're on. What do you think of it? Ooh, it's sweet, sweet up front blackberry flavor and then the pepper gets you on the back of the tongue right as it goes down. Love it. Love it. Can you taste the vanilla or does it just enhance it a little bit? I think the vanilla just enhances it. I don't really taste the vanilla. But the I pepper. smell it. I smell the vanilla. Yeah, I can yeah. smell it. I'm going to have another bite. I'm going to have another bite. 
Apparently this is going to be only our jar. Mm. <gasps> yeah, how many did I buy? I'm happy to know. I reduced the sugar in this one by half a- mm. Ooh! That pepper just gives you that, ooh, I'm here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I reduced the sugar by half a cup. So I did the least amount of sugar that her recipe called for. You need to look up her recipe on the internet. Diane Devereaux, the canning diva, and her low sugar jam recipe with clear gel. There you go. It's amazing. Wish you could be in our kitchen right now because usually when we're cleaning up, we're talking about what we could make with things. So what we've uh, discovered is it would be great because it's clear gel and it doesn't break in heat. You could make um, those pies. We call them on the way home snacks because I would allow my daughter to pick one thing and it was always those fruit pies. So you could literally make fruit pies like. and it wouldn't go all liquidy when you were, um, when you were heating it up. Uh, you could also use them for, uh, it's a custardy, silky, smooth, um, spreadable consistency. It's just amazing. It would make a great addition, you know, when you're making a cookie and you're putting a little bit of jam on the center, it would make a great little bit of jam on the center because it is just literally silky, smooth, and it would just, oh, yeah. Hell, the thumbprints. eat it straight out the jar. You have been eating it straight out of the jar. I can see the jar over here. <laughs> So one batch makes about six to seven um, half pints. And where do you get clear gel? Diane Devereaux sells clear gel on her website. Amazon sells clear gel. And I got mine in bulk at US Chef's store. It's time to start testing the seals and washing up the blackberry jam that I made with the clear gel. And then we need to talk about it. So let's get going. Y'all wonder why I wash my jars. This is why I wash my jars. Sometimes there's a little residue on the outside of the jar. The seal is good, but there's a little residue. This batch actually surprised me. It is 21 cents because I picked the blackberries from my own garden. The only thing I'm paying for is the sugar and the clear gel. And because it uses such little amount of sugar, it's literally so inexpensive. It is the silkiest smooth ever and amazing so there you go it's a win-win I, I think this is like a game changer in jam making I've, I've heard of this for several years and I decided to give it a try I think you would be very shocked it does change the texture it is a different texture it is more easily spreadable it's delicious <laughs>